That is useful. Oh, look at all this plasteel we hit, guys. Holy crap. We've hit like the plasteel mother load. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back with more RimWorld. No time for BS. Man, I love this game so much. Things are going pretty good right now. Our little buddies here are grazing in the pastures. We've got a couple of muffalo lits little tiny muffalos right there little muffalo calves is only a day old so he was recently made we got an ibex ram over here that ended up becoming buddies with us dr destiny over here going to be making some pants which is super important val i have restricted val over here to mining duty right now because there's a lot of things that we need to get done in fact right now i want dr destiny i want you to finish up that pump shotgun there i really don't have time for you to be oh barrow what are you doing you're wearing those pants right now oh you've got you've got worn out apparel on as well oh you're gonna put the pants on and take off the tribal wear all right well that's fine i kind of want i mean i hate to say this but silver haired devil is like a little bit worse than you when it comes to uh going insane so i hate to do this to you barrow but i'm gonna have to draft you real quick this is by the way how you can cancel off of people's actions i found and then wear these here with indie sage i mean i i hate to do it but it's got to happen and then at some point we'll go ahead and bring this somewhere and there once he put once he puts those on now he's wearing some pants and a parka he should not have yeah here we go this is good he doesn't have the wearing worn out apparel anymore so that's good barrow rather than dig at granite go ahead and continue crafting over here oh actually you know what i've got a better idea i've got a better idea i just found out that val and I should have thought about this before. Oh, compacted plasteel. That's awesome. I should have thought about this before. Val is a very, very good crafter. Well, he's not good, but if we go over here to character. Hi there, easy update. If we go over here to character, he has a double flame in his crafting area. So what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him start making stuff so let's go over to work and i think that tailoring falls under crafting i'm pretty sure it does okay see this is pretty important so let's do this we'll put this at a two right now because i don't want it at a one and val go ahead man and start making those pants i want everyone to have new clothing on starting to get a couple of items hauled over here what is everyone doing? Silver Haired Devil is going to be hauling some stuff to the stockpile zone. Very good. Dr. Destiny making those shotguns. Indy Sage is researching. He's pretty much going to be our dedicated researcher over here. So that's good. Marty DeWitt sewing all those areas to make sure that we have plenty of food. Man, we have a ton of food right now. Marty, you know, man, let's start... Do we have any slag laying around? Because if we have some slag laying around, I would appreciate it. If we could haul all of these things into their appropriate spot. There we go. Let's kind of move everything along here. There we are. Keep hauling all these slag chunks. Yes. Yes. Get those slag chunks hauled. I don't want those things just laying around all willy-nilly in the middle of nowhere oh you need to get some sleep do you all right i guess i'll allow it dr destiny how are you making out on this pump action shotgun uh doing all right you're probably gonna need some some sleep soon this is great we've got a spacious interior the only problem is it's very ugly this area is ugly so let's find out what we can do to make this place better it's got the tiles on it that's good probably need to clean up in here is the issue so i wonder if we can get old silver hair here to just real quick clean up a lot of this dirt if you guys can think of a way to get people to like clean up dirt all at once like this 
I'm all ears because see how right now I just kind of have to select each piece of it like this it kind of it's kind of tedious you know what I mean but man this is gonna help big time clean up this over here clean up this over here is there anything else yep there's a little bit of dirt right there so now that whole area should be pretty clean there's a couple of spots over here I may even you know what silver hair I may even make you a cleaner I'm gonna let you go ahead and get some sleep let's take a look at your work priorities real quick I only think I have a couple of important cleaners and they're always doing something else oh silver hair devil is a cleaner and he's also a hauler and he is a handler okay so I mean if he has nothing else to do he should be doing these things so I guess I'll I'll kind of let him take care of that later on how's this environment now is it still pretty ugly um no it's not ugly anymore the only issue is right now is that he's hungry so I'm gonna let you get something to eat wouldn't want you to starve yourself to death and Val over here making these pants. He should be done pretty soon. We've got some traders coming in. Val, I hate to take you away from your pant making. Let's go ahead and bring this beauty thing off. That's one of the ways that you can kind of use the uh, beauty ability there. Kind of nice. Go ahead and trade with this guy. See what they've got for us. If they got any components, I will certainly sell those. Um, let's see here. Oh, we've got the awful granite sculpture for 94 bucks. Yes, let's go ahead and sell that. And they have quite a bit of gold for sale. That's interesting. We've got some power armor. We've got some tribal wear um, that we are not going to be needing anymore. So let's go and sell this over here. Let's sell this parka because I don't think we're going to be using that either. Make us a little bit of money here. Psychic intensity lands. Holy crap. That sounds incredible. Ooh, they've got a bunch of... Do you guys have components? Oh, you guys do have components. We're probably going to want to buy all of these components for sure. Because what I have found is that components are just really tough to find. Um, we've got a turkey that we can sell. We don't really need this turkey We'll go ahead and sell that for some money. You notice uh, training animals is pretty darn potent as well. Look at this. I mean, all these muffalos and stuff are worth almost $200 each. That is pretty good. I may even sell this ram here. And we have a tortoise that we can sell as well. The tortoise isn't going to be doing anything. It's a 94-year-old tortoise. Oh, my God. Uh, let's go sell this tortoise. Let's go sell this ram. And there, that brings us up a little bit. Do you guys have any kind of... Do you guys have anything, like, weaponry besides this, like... Wow, look at that thrumbo horn. Look at how much that's worth. I've got to think about that if I can ever find those. Cur cooking neuro trainer. That's interesting. I guess we'll just buy all the components... And we'll sell what we've got. Let's go ahead and accept that. We're coming out on top, though, which is nice. And we'll move those components over there at some point. Uh, let's find out. Everyone's just kind of sleeping right now. Once everyone wakes up, we'll move these components on over. That'll give us 22 components. And that is awesome. Val, man, are you ever going to sleep? I'll go ahead and cancel you so you can get some rest. Oh, apparently you just want to keep making pants. All right. Well, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> um, oh, crap. Did I did I cancel that those pant-making things that were going on there? I probably did. Son of a gun. All right. Go ahead and clear your prioritized work. You're probably going to need something to eat. You're probably going to want to get some sleep. If we get raided right now, we've got a bunch of traders, so that's pretty sweet. Hopefully our muffle, uh, muffalos keep making little muffalo lits. That'd be really nice. Yes, Barrow, do your thing. Who's making this pump-action shotgun? Dr. Destiny. Uh, we've got more visitors? Who do we have now? Carpenter's Village coming up in here. All right. 
Well, I mean, I, I guess I'll keep trading. That's fine. Um, Dr. Destiny. Oh, you're awake. All right, yeah, go ahead and clean up a little bit. There you go. Go ahead and get a little cloud watching in because in a minute here, you're going to be making pump action shotguns. Well, I should say one pump action shotgun. Let's check out what your needs are like. Yeah, your needs are looking just fine. Get to work at this pump action shotgun over here. And then Barrow, you can keep digging. That's just fine. Val is getting a bunch of sleep because I think he is pretty darn tired. Let's wake him up, though. See if I can get you doing some things. Now, Val, don't dig at that granite. Instead, go ahead and work on this bench over here. Are you tired or anything? Oh, you're joy-filled. Well, that's good. All right, so you're doing just fine. Now, while we're doing this... Oh, you know what? We have to trade with these people and see what they have. The people over here at Carpenter's Forest. Go ahead, Val. Check to see if they have anything interesting to trade. Um, they've got nutrient paste, and they do have some medicine. Medicine is good. We're going to need this. And the reason why is because I think that we need medicine to make, um, we need medicine to make hospital beds. So no one is going to be allowed to be able to use medicine for themselves. I'm going to have to turn all this off so that we're just using herbal medicine on everyone. Herbal medicine has worked fine, I think. Herbal medicine has worked all right. It's, you know, we have some pretty good doctors, so that's been pretty darn good. Um, Dr. Destiny is still working on that. Silver-haired devil, what are you doing? You're hauling some milk around. That's fine. Go ahead and haul that milk into the, into our little area there, refrigeration area, so it doesn't go bad. Let him consume some berries. Let's go ahead and get these components moved around. I don't want those just laying there. So go ahead and do that real fast. There we go. Yes, excellent. And after you do that, I think we've got some silver over here too. Yeah, see, we have a bunch of silver. We want to make sure that we can use this. So, mental break, hide in room. Oh, silver hair. You jerk. All right, well, I guess what can you do? Oh, did the pump action shotgun get made? Oh, yes, it did. Okay, Tosca. Let's take a look at our people real quick. I want to make sure that shooters have these weapons. Tosca is a shooter, as is Val. He's chucking out the rifle. Silverhair, not much of a warrior. Barrow, definitely a, a regular fighter. Kamboa, big on learning how to shoot things. And then Marty DeWitt, also pretty interested in shooting. I think I'm going to have Indy Sage equip this shotgun, and then we're going to start on another another weapon. What do I want to make though? I think I'm going to want to make like a rifle or something. Let's go ahead and make a some sort of rifle here, either the survival rifle or the assault rifle. I know the survival rifle is really good. I kind of want to make an assault rifle just so that we have one going. Um, Indy Sage, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to equip that shotgun. That's perfect. And go ahead and keep researching. I know you'll have a lot of fun doing that. Dr. Destiny, going to get some sleep here for a little bit with Barrow. And Tosca, what are you doing? You are sowing plants. Keep on the sculpting. The reason why is because we need plenty of ways to make money. And, oh, silver hair, you're fine now, huh? Oh, I guess you're just going to sleep. He should have catharsis from uh, doing his thing. Oh, it's an ugly environment in here. Let's take a look at the beauty. I'll bet it's because there's dirt everywhere. Yeah, there is. Let's go over to work for him. And I'm going to put Silver Hair Devil at a 2 when it comes to handling animals. This way he cleans and he hauls stuff first. Because I want to keep all this area nice and clean. Oh, cargo pod's down, guys. Let's check out what we got. What do we got, man? We've got some marble blocks. We've got some slag over here as well. Let's go ahead and take off this stats display. Um, okay, marble blocks. That's fine, I guess. We may need that for something at some point. 
Go ahead and keep everyone moving here. And I'm hoping that we continue to get these things hauled down here. I do want to get those hauled down there. Take that off real quick. There we go. Val, what are you going to be doing? You are making pants. Excellent. Make those pants, Val. I want to get your crafting up big time. If we go over here to craft... See, he's already at a five. Look at how quick that crafting is progressing. Because he's got those double... That double interest in the crafting. Tosca over here should be pretty darn good at art. Yeah, he's got a level 10 in art. Ooh, hopefully we can make some decent art pretty soon. And then in a little bit here, I'll probably have... I'll probably have, I think it's Dr. Destiny. After he does a little bit of cleaning, I know he does love cleaning. Oh yeah, get all that area clean, brother. Because in a little minute here, you're going to be making another rifle. Yes, clean all that, clean all that. The cleaning in this game is like so important. Like way more important than I had ever anticipated. Uh, Barrow... Who's making this over here? Val's making that, so you can continue to do your thing. I'm not worried about that. Dr. Destiny, yep, clean all that. I really appreciate your your penchant for cleaning everything in the immediate area. That is fantastic. Excellent. Oh yeah, make this place make this place sparkle, baby. Alright, you've done enough cleaning. Now I want you to work at this table over here. In fact, I'm going to take you off of cleaning, and that's going to be a two for you from now on. This way, Silverhair does a lot of the cleaning. Silverhair, how you doing? You're hauling berries around. That's good. Continue to haul whatever we need hauled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then on top of this, we're going to get all this area mined. That's doing great. Barrow still has plenty of stuff to mine. I want all this mined as well because that looks like more compacted steel. And things are going great, man. Things are going pretty good. We've got... Oh, a mental break. Hide in room. Oh, God. I think I exhausted the crap out of you. Oh, man. I'm so sorry about that. Tosca does need some sleep. So, I didn't even think about that. I had her making granite sculptures like all night long. Everyone's sleep schedule is all jacked up. Because they're doing, like, all this crazy stuff. Who's our planter? Because I think I'm only going to have one grower for right now. And our grower is going to be Marty. So I'm going to take Tosca off of that. So now only Marty will be doing that. So Tosca can work on her artwork basically all the time. We got another group over here? Bennett, have I traded with you yet? I don't think I have. Hold on. Val, what are you doing? You're digging at Plasteel. Do me a favor and go ahead and trade with Bennett over here. We've got a lot of visitors coming in lately. Holy crap. It's like Visitor Central over here. What do you have? You have a medicine as well. Yeah, that's pretty important. I'm going to want all that medicine. Because like I said, we're going to want all that medicine for the... For the our area. Val, let me grab you real quick. Because I think you have some pants that are being made, don't you? Yeah, go ahead and start working on uh, these pants. I would appreciate it if you did that. So that everyone can have a, a nice wardrobe on. Dr. Destiny. Man, the assault rifle has a ton of work that has to be done. That is really too bad. Um, Tosca, how you doing? You're no longer hiding in your room. Okay, good. That's fantastic. Let's go make sure that no one is getting... Oh, oh, nice! Oh, the hospital bed is done, guys. Okay, what's next on the chopping block? Ooh. We can make some auto doors if we wanted to. I think I'm going to continue on the mortars. We were halfway done there. Okay, so now that we have hospital beds done, I'm going to want to make a little hospital room. And I think what I'm going to do is let's wall off an area we're gonna make granite walls and let's wall off like a big zone over here um and i'll start this walled off i'm gonna start this walled off like this now i don't want i don't want the this to be a part of the room because if i do from what i understand this generates a ton of heat 
and it'll make this room like super super hot so i don't want that but i do want it close enough so that it gets the power conduit so i could put an ac unit in here and a heater in here if we need to so let's start on this this is going to be the beginning of a of a room and while we're at it i'd like to not remove room i'd like to make smoothed floors right in here as well there we'll get all that going on and i just want to make sure that you guys are not like super tired um yeah see like right now dr destiny is like really tired so i want to get him some food and some sleep so he doesn't end up getting all knocked out you know what i mean val just completed i think he just completed some pants nice so is anyone else wearing tattered clothing? You know what I mean? Like, I want to make sure that no one else is wearing any kind of, like, beat-up clothing. All right, your clothing is good. Um, I think your clothing is still just fine. That's good. Silverhair Devil should be pretty happy. He's, like, super joy-deprived, but what can you do? Uh, Barrow doing well. Barrow's in a moderate amount of pain. Oh, I think that's because of the scratches she has on her eyes. I need to figure that out. Oh, Indy Sage, you need some new clothing. All right. So Indy Sage needs new clothing. He's pretty hungry as well. If we go over here to gear, what is worn out for him? It's these pants. Okay. So let's get you wearing these brand new pants. Oh, Indy Sage. There we go. And after you're done with that, you'll probably be able to go get something to eat. And get some sleep as well. So that's good. Val has another pair of pants. Oh no, that's just some shoddy, uh, shoddy synth thread pants. And they're leaving, so I can't sell those right now. Val, brother, how is your crafting looking? It should be looking pretty good. Oh yeah, it's at a six now. Moving right along, and it'll be at seven in no time. So that's pretty good. And now, if we go over to Indy Sage, his needs should be... Oh, he's still wearing worn-out apparel. What gear is worn out for him? Oh, the helmet. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the helmet. There. <laughs> now you can sleep with Tosca. Now his needs should be okay. He is in a cramped environment, though. I do need to think about that. We need to make this a little bit bigger. And he's going to get hungry and stuff too. Um, what do I want to do for this room to make this bigger? I mean, I guess I could extend it. I can't even extend it this way at all because this friggin', this friggin' watery area is... Oh, you know what? That's a good point. That watery area is there. Let's go over to miscellaneous. And holy crap, a moisture pump is five... Uh, five power here, but that's fine. I'm going to make a moisture pump. And we're going to go ahead and pump out all this moisture. How, how far does the moisture go? Let's take a look real fast. So this is, this is all mud. This is mud. Okay, so this mud here, we can't use any of this right now because we need to moisture pump this stuff out. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a moisture pump right about here. And I'm going to need to extend this this um power area over here as well this conduit gonna need to go straight through this wall probably into here like this and that's what we'll do i think i'm gonna go and use barrow to start making this right now yeah go ahead and work on this moisture pump we should have plenty of components now we've got 18 components and i'm pretty sure that a bunch were left behind after we did more trading I'm pretty sure. Um, Silver here, go ahead and haul this medicine over here. There we are. Yep, go ahead and haul that down there. I appreciate that. Yep, haul, haul that steel slag over there. And did we get a bunch of silver? Yeah, we ended up getting a bunch of silver as well. There we go. So, man, I thought we had more components than that. We're down to 13 components. I could have sworn I bought a bunch more. What the hell was that? What just ended up dying? I think that was Jagged beating something up to get something to eat. Oh, that's fine. 
Tasca's back, working on her sculpture. That's good. Val, what are you doing? You're getting some sleep. Okay. And then Dr. Destiny is... Oh, building the wall. All right. That's fine. Um, well, I kind of want him to work on this rifle instead, but we do need to get this wall built. So, I do understand the purpose of this. Oh, Marty DeWitt's helping on the wall, too. That's pretty nice. What is this down here? This is more slags that we're going to have to move eventually. Okay. That's fine. And we do have, we got two components there and 11 components there. Okay. So this is now activated. Now all we need to do is finish putting this together. Is it powered? Hold on. Let me make sure this thing's powered. Oh, it is powered. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So it's going to take eight days to clean all this area up. But finally, once this area is clean, I'm going to be able to extend into this with no issue. And that's going to be really, really helpful. Yes, Dr. Destiny, build that wall, baby. Oh, while we're doing this, we're going to need a door down here. So let's... Oh, crap. What did I just deconstruct? Yeah, I don't want to deconstruct that. Let's click on this. Let's cancel this because we're going to want a door there. And we don't want a steel door. We want a granite door. There we are. So that'll be perfect. He's going to start smoothing all those areas out too. That is useful. Oh, look at all this plasteel we hit, guys. Holy crap. We've hit like the plasteel mother load. Yes. Oh, yes, baby. We are going to have a ton of plasteel. And I think we have enough to make a doctor's bed as well, or a hospital bed. Hold on, let's take a look here. It should be under miscellaneous, is it? Or under furniture. It's probably under furniture. Hospital bed. Oh, we need 10 medicine. All right, so we need one more medicine at some point to continue doing this. That's fine. We're going to get that last medicine. The colony is doing pretty good. We haven't been raided in a little while. We got plenty of energy going on. Our stockpile areas are starting to get stocked up nice and good. Guys, hope you're enjoying RimWorld so far. Having a great time with it. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.